And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a color shift effect. We want to rotate the color of the background for this footage which is basically static. And we also have a moving camera in this short clip for the static one. And for the other one we need the change color. We could also use change to color but we're going to use change color. But the process will be the same, drag and drop it on both clips and we have it now right here in effect controls. If you can't find these windows, just click on window and then effect controls and effects to find it. Alright, first we can select the color by swatch or just use this eyedropper tool and go to the original footage in the preview window. Let me change the hue and if I use different points of my footage you can see that different areas are affected. So pick something that selects a lot of your background in this case, or a lot of the areas that you want to change. This one should be fine. And then play around with the matching tolerance. So if you crank it up, you will add parts to the selection, you could say. And the matching softness, you could see that as kind of a feather on the edges. should be good values for this footage. And now I'll start the animation for hue. At zero I got to the end. And a full cycle is 360. If you want to cycle through the color wheel two times, just use 720. It makes it shift faster. I run it. You can see we've got what we wanted, but also the water is affected and even a little bit of the sand in the foreground. And that's not exactly what we wanted to have. So can we achieve that the effect is only applied to the background? Well, we have to use a mask. You can click, for example, on this rectangle icon and you've got a rectangle mask. And now just use this selection, this cursor tool and rearrange the anchor points. You can even go outside of the screen, no problem. And now you can see the water and the sand is not affected anymore. But maybe the shift is a little bit too fast, so let me go to 360 so that it only cycles through one time. So for static footage, that wasn't hard, but we've got a little bit of camera movement here. Let us first repeat the process. So I'll use this eye tool to pick a color. And with the U transformation, I can see what I'm affecting. Don't use too much matching tolerance, or you will have this sand also affected. Add a little bit of softness if you have to. In this case, it's not necessary, as we've got these hard edges between the background and the sand in the foreground. By the way, you could also affect the lightness and the saturation. So it's the same game. But we want to play around with the hue. So we'll start once again at zero. Go to the starting position, start the animation. Go to the end, new keyframe, and let's use 360 in this case, so that it cycles through once. So now let us add the mask, and we'll use the pen tool. Make sure to close it and afterwards you can use the selection tool, so this cursor to rearrange the anchor points. And now we can be sure that the effect is only applied to the background. By the way, if you need new anchor points, just hover over the line and you should see a plus sign appearing below your mouse cursor and then you can adjust it. But the problem is as we've got movement, you can see that the mask should also move. Otherwise, we don't have everything covered in the background. We can use the mask path for that. Just click on the animation icon for it and then go forward. Let me use the arrow keys to the right. And now I'll have to manually rearrange that. I 
once again, go forward. And at this point, we are losing the mask again, so we arrange it once more. I've used this short clip so that I don't have that much work to do to show you this. But if you've got a longer clip, you would have to invest a lot of time. You can see right here, I'm losing the mask. So it's a good idea to adjust it manually once more. Here you can see it. And that is what you basically have to do for these moving shots. When you've got it static, it's easy, but in general, it's the same process for each. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.